This is my review for Power Book 2 Ghost, Season 4, Episode 7. If this is your first time here, make sure you check out the other content. We do film, music, and sports on the channel. Now, to get into this episode, and it was one of my favorite episodes that I have ever seen on Power Book 2. And I'm telling you, it is actually my favorite episode of this season. They did a great job with this from start to finish, really. They really only had one scene that I thought was goofy. The rest of it was amazing, and it started off so good because they show Diana. She loses the baby. We see that, but they sat in that scene at the hospital. You had Tariq come, and he's confident her, and she's like, yo, get away from me. Then Monet come, and then Kane come, but they sat in that scene. They allowed the audience to really feel the emotion of the scene, of Diana losing the baby. That's why it was so great to me. I'm like, oh, they actually sat in the scene. Usually Power Book 2 don't do that at all. Power Book 3 do that. That's why it's most people's favorite. Power Book 2 don't. They just go scene, 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 scene. <laughs> like you watch it. I actually be trying to take some notes. On. They just go boom, 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 boom. A lot of shows don't do that. A lot of shows sit in scenes. The greatest shows of all time, they all set in scenes. Power, the original one, it's set in scenes too. So they did that to open it up. So I'm like, okay, this is starting off real great. The next scene, they show Councilman Tate and Don Carter. They said in that scene. So I'm like, oh, they batting 100 right now. And I love seeing Councilman Tate back on screen. You see, he went minister society real quick, didn't he? When he looked up and they showed, he was looking up at uh, at uh, Don Carter. He's like, man, you better find who did this to my brother. Now, when Councilman Tate figure out it wasn't these Russians, it was him, I wonder how he is going to react. And Tariq might be the person that let him know that. Somebody gonna let him know because Monet, Tariq, uh, Drew, Diane, everybody is about to team up on Don Carter because they got to. No McCain. We seen the previews for the next episode. Everybody gonna team up on him. He crooked and they gotta team up on him. And, you know, the way he talked to people is just like, dog, I'm the loss. You not, you gonna do this. Or you going to jail? Like, the way he talked to people is crazy how he did Monet when he was talking to her. Like, yo, it, basically, she like his underboss. You know, the way he was talking to her, I'm like, dang, Monet, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna say nothing back. Like, dang, it's crazy. But they start off real good. Another scene I liked was when Kane and Davis bump into each other. Davis then just hit Noma. It's obvious. She come out with the robe on. <laughs> it's obvious she just been hit. I right? hate Davis sweating. He trying to fix the tie. He's looking crazy. Kane walk in. Kane noticed, like, ah oh, man, you didn't just hit Noma. Yeah, he hit Noma. So, you know, you get to see that dynamic of the old guy, like, yeah, young boy. Yeah, young fella. I'm hitting the chick you like it. Yeah. And then the young dude recognizing it like, yo, this might not be the one for me. That's why he running back with Effie. He shouldn't have left Effie at them apartments either. That probably was his last chance with Effie to make something happen. So she probably don't shake. And Effie been trying to really get out the game. Even when she was talking to Brayden, she like, yo, you can have the business. She trying to get out the game. You see her mom calling her. So something is going on and she's trying to leave. Whatever Effie's doing, she's trying to leave. And you know what? Kane is going down a dangerous path with Noma because you know she don't look at you like an equal. She definitely don't look up to you. No, no way she look up to Kane. But now you trying to marry her so she can get some green, her green card and come up. It's just like... Bro, you you doing some goofy stuff. Just leave her alone, dog. Just that's all you gotta do. Go back with the family. That's literally what you need to do, but instead, you going under her. So Kane tripping with that. Another person that was really tripping this episode, Brayden. Brayden is headed to his death. Ain't no way around it. Everybody knows Brayden a dope head now. Everybody know. Tariq Ben New. 
the guy that said they gonna stop doing parties, he walk in, he know now. Kane and Effie walk in, both of them know, like, yo, what you fixing your nose? What you as soon as they walk in, they say something about it. I'm like, oh, everybody know he getting high now. That's like the worst feeling. Cause he was trying to hide it. Now everybody know he getting high. So people start losing respect for you when they know you getting high. You can't really be respecting and trusting no dope ain't like that. You know, that's why Tariq ain't trying to take him to go do nothing no more. He like, nah, I'm good. So Braden is leaning towards his death. Now, we talking about Braden. We talking about Effie. We talking about Kane. And this leads me to the one goofy scene in this episode. This episode would have been a 10 out of 10 for me. But I had to knock it down a little bit. It was still great. It's the best one I've seen in a minute. But I give it an 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Maybe even a 9. But it was one scene that was super goofy. That scene with Tyreek, or not Tyreek, Brayden, Kane and Effie, when they had to go into that girl's house to get a laptop, I'm like, oh my God. They did what power do sometimes. They need to connect something so they like okay we need to connect it and then they just do it in the most laziest way all right let's just create this scene where they go in and i liked how he said offer officer uh i like how kane called himself officer ramirez and tried to bring it back to the earlier seasons but nah 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 that whole thing was goofy Braden and effie coming in he bleeding she get to go to the bath i'm like oh god like why did they do that I would have rather them be on some, like, breaking and entering stuff to get the laptop instead of what they did. This little scheme where he bleeding and then Kane show up as Officer Ramirez. I'm like, yo, what is going on? So that was the one scene that was super goofy to me. Like, goofy. Gang goofy. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, the rest was fire. We got to get to Diana and how she gave it up this episode. Because she gave it up. Everybody want to help Diana. Everybody want to avenge Diana. You got Tariq. He went to talk to Tasha. We got to see his little sister. She getting bigger. I love that scene. Tasha gave him some guidance. Like, hey, she need to do this on her own. Diana get told from her mama. I got it. I got it. But her mama wasn't going to do nothing. Because she worried about Detective Carter. She wasn't going to do nothing. Diana say, I'm going to take it into my own hands. And she did her just like Ghost. Remember Ghost did Charlie Murphy when he was in jail? He did him like that with the weights. She did her like that with like a skillet or something. Just, huh, huh, did her dirty. She do her dirty <laughs> and notice this girl got a kid of herself. So, you know, what happened to her deserved to happen to her, but you do feel sorry for the kid. He come out the room, he all innocent. They like, hey, go back in the room. You know, your mama down her, she didn't got beat to death. You know, you'll never see your mama again, but just go, go back in the room and go to sleep. Crazy thing is, when that kid wake up and finally notice, like, yeah, I'm never going to see my mama again, he going to be sad as hell, man. That's crazy. And he might not even wake up, because remember... Tariq, Monet, and Diana has left, right? They leave it. It's Drew and Detective Carter there. Ain't no telling what Detective Carter is going to come up with while he there. Because he probably, or he might be like, yo, we're going to have to take the kid out too. I can see that happen. I can see us coming back next episode and Detective Carter have took out the kid. Or he didn't told Drew to do it. Which would be wild if Drew go through with that. That would be crazy. But, yeah, man. That scene was fire. And they sat in that scene, too. They sat at the scene with Tariq and Tasha talking. That's what make episodes and that's what makes shows fire. When they invest in scenes and they able to do the scenes correctly and pull the uh, audience into the storyline even more. That's what happened when you sit in scenes more. And when I say sit in scenes, I mean they'll show you a scene and it'll be more time. The duration of time of them at the hospital showing that scene was longer than a lot of they scenes normally be. Normally, 
Power Book 2, they scenes be like 10 seconds. They show you a scene, then boom, on to the next one. Boom, on to the next That's how they do it. You know, I like when they sit in scenes. Give us a minute, you know, two minutes. One scene, different people talking. And then you go to the next thing. Or even three to five minutes. One scene, you know, a lot going on, a lot of emotions going on. And then you go to the next scene. You know, that's what I like. You know, that's what I think make the best shows. And when you look at the shows that do that, they often be more successful. You know, but uh, yeah, man, this was my favorite episode in a while, man. A lot happened. A lot went down. I think I touched on everything, you know, and I'm waiting on these, you know, these last uh, episodes, you know, I'm waiting to see what uh, Councilman Tate going to do if he find out the truth. I'm waiting to see how is the other detective going to react when Don Carter tell him the news about this girl, Felicia. I can't wait to see that because that other detective already looking at Don Carter when he killed that Russian, he was looking at him like, with the side eye almost like, nah, that that uh guy, Tate, he didn't kill the Russians and the Russians ain't come back to get him. I don't think that happened. That's how he looking at him. He like, you know, so he putting stuff together. I'm talking about the other detective that's a part of Don Carter's, you know, his group, you know, so which is just them two left, you know, so they a duet now, you know, but um. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff. Y'all let me know. What did you think about this episode? I know I got the review out a little late. My birthday didn't pass. You know what I'm saying? It's my God year now, you know. So, um, you know, hopefully I have a successful year, you know. But um, like always, y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. And y'all be easy. Be safe.